Belgium is one of the most important horse meat traders in the world. The four major Belgian horse meat companies, Multimeat, Velda, Chevideco and the Equinox, are involved in international horse meat trade and also own slaughterhouses in South America. The imported horse meat turns up on the shelves of supermarkets in our country and on the plate of Belgian consumers. But do they really know where this meat comes from? Gaia sent out a special team to investigate the transport conditions and the slaughter of horses in Mexico and Brazil in September and October 2009. Horse meat processing companies claim that they sell the meat of South American horses because the taste is so much better. They say the reason for this is that the horses there live healthy lives, get a lot of exercise, eat well and have absolutely no stress. All those things improve the quality of the meat. However, reality does not live up to this ideal image of happy horses jumping around in the South American Pampas. In fact, the South American horses are starved, dehydrated and very weak. And some of them are wounded. The horses going to slaughter have become totally unwanted by their owners. The animals are gathered from over the entire country for slaughter. The Mexican market supplies horses to slaughterhouses licensed for export to Europe. The horses are sold in a terrible state. These images show the suffering of the animals and the brutality with which they are being treated. Most of the horses slaughtered in Mexico come from the United States though. In the United States, the slaughter of horses is forbidden. However, horses from all over the country are gathered in a Beltex feedlot in Texas, from where on they are brought to Mexico for slaughter. Beltex is owned by the Belgian horse meat company Multimeat. No shelter is provided there to protect the horses against extreme heat and heavy rainfall. Some animals die. In Mexico and Brazil, the animals are transported in unadapted trucks with bad flooring and no separate boxes for each animal. On top of that, the trucks are often heavily overloaded. Double-decker trucks in which the animals can't stand up straight are used in Mexico, although they are forbidden by law. Because of the major overload, dehydration and the weakness of the animals, the journey is extremely painful and dangerous for the horses. During the journey to the slaughterhouse that can last up to 2,500 kilometers, the animals barely get anything to drink or nothing at all. When they fall down in the trucks as a result of this bad treatment, the drivers poke them with electric sticks to make sure they get back on their feet. They also poke the other horses to make room for the one that fell. Here, cruelty goes hand in hand with incompetence. Pode achar que ele vem. Pera, moça.
Vai na bunda do cavalo, gente. Vai na bunda do Não bate, não tem bater, não. Pode deixar, pode deixar agora, pode deixar. Pode deixar, né? Pode deixar, não escora ele, não. Peraí, peraí, peraí. Peraí, pode deixar o que aí. When the horses arrive at the slaughterhouse, they are completely dehydrated and starved. We are in hot weather. Yeah, yeah. It's dry, yeah, yeah. so they reach the place. They have reached the place in a, the worst state of hydration. Some of the horses, having survived the transport, perish even before they get slaughtered. It is a shame. We have lost uh, 48 horses yesterday in this week. And, and, and this night we're going to lose more. Horses unable to stand on their own feet are dragged into the slaughterhouse. Badly injured horses get slaughtered as well. The skinniest ones are of no use for their meat, and so they are ground to be used as pet food. After slaughter, the horse meat is packed and shipped off to all over the world, including Europe and Belgium. Will you think of him before buying your next horse steak?